like to speak to you about a, a new name subject that's coming into Grade 9 um, for next year. It's called Digital Technologies. It's exactly the same course that we're currently running called Computer Studies, but we've just changed the name. The reason for that is that the national curriculum that's come out has changed the name of anything to do with technology into either design and technology, which is sort of your manual arts area, but digital technologies is the name for computing. So exactly the same course as we're currently running in year nine and 10, it's just got a new name on it. Kids who should do digital technologies are those who like problem solving, they like working on a computer. There is a theory component as well, so it's not just all playing on the computer. So if you're just wanting to come along and play on a computer and you like playing computer games, this probably isn't for you. If you'd like to design your own games and make your own games, then for sure it's a, a good subject for you. Lots of problem solving, lots of teamwork, collaboration, critical thinking, those type of skills. As I said before, there is an element of theory in it, but we tend to use real world examples, so you'll be able to see where this applies in the real world. The things we do, we do some Photoshop work, we do 3D modelling, we do game development, so there's a program called Unity where you create an environment and then you create characters that run through there. We look at databases and we spend a fair bit of time doing some coding. So we start off with some basic languages and move up to some more advanced languages and some modern languages like JavaScript. Assessment wise, we have projects. They're, they're just a fancy name for an assignment. We also do exams, of course, but most of the work you'll notice is really based in whatever is happening in the world. Um, future subjects can lead on to IPT in year 11 and 12, which is an OP subject, or ICT SAS, which is non-OP in 11 and 12. A great subject for those people who want to challenge themselves. We also do Lego robotics, I should slip in there as well, um, to show you the skills and, and work out what works and what doesn't work.